Well, good evening. And what a contrast to this morning when we had all that rain when we woke up. We have arrived in another most gorgeous Sussex town called Petworth. And quite by accident, um, it wasn't a park for night place. We just thought, well, actually Richard, he seems to be quite good at finding these places. He, uh, he thought it looked an interesting village and we drove here and it is, it's a beautiful partly medieval town um, with some really interesting architecture here. We spoiled ourselves at lunchtime and blew the budget from another couple of nights at campsites and uh, had a lovely lunch in the Angel here. Our most expensive meal this trip but it was worth it, it was really stunning. and. We parked in the car park in the town. We can't see any signs forbidding overnights. And we had a little rest in the van this afternoon and then this evening we thought we'd come out to explore again. It's a tiny little village so you can easily get round it quite quickly. But we sort of went through, a, it gotta be honest, the traffic on the road through here is relentless. But we have come. <laughs> A almost hidden entrance. You, you, this is a National Trust property so you can pay to come here. But the Deer Park, we read on a leaflet, is open. It's quite hidden on this super busy road but we followed our noses, went through this strange little underpass, through a metal gate and were greeted with deer. <laughs> and this is what we have seen when we got here. <laughs> Petworth House and all the acres of parkland here for us to explore. <laughs> what a find! How gobsmacked are you? Well, I'm taken aback, <laughs> honestly. It's just one of those places that is just just grabs you as soon as you come yeah, in there because you don't expect it. Because of the contrast of that super busy road yeah, that was a I nightmare, know. wasn't it? And you go through that tunnel and then you're in this. Deer wandering around and <laughs> sunset, sunset yeah, in the house. beautiful evening. You can hear the traffic still, but it's very much insulated by yeah. that huge... There's a wall that goes around the entire estate that's 13 miles long, I think I read. I don't know if you can see, but under those trees, just in front of us, the two little deer. Obviously quite tame. They're used to people coming through their home. Oh, such a peaceful, lovely place. Oh, fallen down tree. Poor thing. I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but under those trees are deer. This is even better because we've almost got the place to ourselves. <laughs> There's a few dog walkers around, but pretty much us. We can pretend this is our garden. <laughs> Look at these lovely gates just stuck here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I think this is one of, if not the highlight of the trip. <laughs> I just can't believe this place. <sighs> I'm going to spin around to get a sense of the vastness of this place. And I'm just making my way to a very large ornamental lake. Let's take a look at that.
It's my magical tree. Look at it. I can climb inside it. Oh, this is fab. Oh, look. Oh. I'm in heaven inside a gnarly, rotten, <laughs> but still lovely tree. I don't know what kind of tree it is. I think it's... Mm, no, no idea. Drop a line in the comments. <laughs> and loads of deer. Look at these trees. Yes. Not much anyway. morning it's Thursday morning and we're shipping out of Petworth what a lovely town if you haven't been here definitely put oh, the sun if you haven't been here definitely put it on your list and if you're a member of the National Trust Petworth house looks incredible we haven't been around the house but the grounds were staggering and uh, a real highlight I think of this whole trip um, we had a lovely relaxing evening back in the van last night uh, we'd had lunch out so um, just snacks in the evening oh and some cream scones it's very nice we've had a coffee and toast this morning and we're getting ready to move on uh, once more closer to home we've got two nights left on this trip and we're heading towards Wiltshire today. No particular destination in mind, but we will be checking the apps and seeing if there's somewhere as lovely as this to stay. Every day we set off, we think we're never going to find anywhere as lovely as where we've just been. But I have to say, so far, every night has been wonderful. There's no nights we've thought, oh, that was awful, can't wait to move on. And uh, yeah, loving our uh, freestyling style of touring. So we'll catch up with you when we get wherever we're going. We've arrived at our penultimate destination. We have driven today, it was about two hours, quite a long drive, but very nice. We drove from Petsworth, Petworth. <laughs> we drove from yes, yeah. Petworth and crossed uh, through Surrey and arrived in Wiltshire. We are now in the town of Marlborough and a very lovely town it is too. Very picturesque, very... Um, it's an upmarket. Market. Upmarket, up that's market. a good way to describe. Market town. Upmarket. With famous celebrities in Waitrose. Oh, we bumped into Nigel Havers in the supermarket. And of course, being Marlborough, the supermarket is Waitrose. And where we're parked now is one of the central, there's quite a few car parks, but it's the central one. And we have a Waitrose just across the car park. Toilets that are 24 seven, you just pay 20 pence. But it's all very, very convenient. We check the signs and you are allowed to stay overnight here. Even caravans and trailers, but they have to pay um, Everyone else is free from 6 p.m. We're still a little bit stealthy though, and uh, we've been for a lunch in the pub across the road, which was lovely. And we haven't really done that much exploring and walking today, but um, just chilling in the van now and watching all 
the comings and goings and a little kebab van has just turned up now we did read on the reviews of I think it was search for site someone has previously said that this kebab van turns up and there's lots of coming and going because it's obviously very popular and we might get tempted ourselves <laughs> I do like a nice was cook, good kebab Okay. Days ago, we bought garlic bread and um, pasta's dried, obviously, and a jar of sauce. We were going to do just a quick pasta, and every night we avoid eating it. It's still in the cool box on ice. But yeah, we might have a kebab. But yeah, just chilling, enjoying, enjoying this lovely um, atmosphere in this lovely town. We've come out for a walk and <laughs> picked up a leaflet. From the kebab, I think we'll have one because they got nice. they got gyros. Do love a gyros, so we're just heading for a little walk around the river path, really. And ooh, it's very sunny. A very glorious good morning from Marlborough, from a little bench in the park next to our van. We have had a Greg's sausage bath and a coffee this morning, and loving the sun. It's so, it's so warm. It's beautiful. And we're gonna see if we can find a chalk horse, which is about a twenty-minute walk from here. I don't think it's that amazing, but worth a look. And then we're heading out of here. I'm going to try and find somewhere near a canal. So if we get a good view of the horse, you'll see us there. <laughs> well, that on the hill up there is the white horse. Obviously better viewed from the air. Let's see if we can get the drone to see it a little better. Well, we're at the Marlborough White Horse, just behind me, and we got the drone up, so we had a really good view from the air. It's actually quite small. I'd read on reviews before we get, got here that uh, it isn't a huge one, and it's not that old. It was done by the students of Marlborough, or maybe not Marlborough College, but in the 19th century. Still lovely to see, though, especially from the air. So we're going to walk back to town now and find our next and final night's stay. Cane, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Assuming cane locks. Is there how many locks are there at Chuck? Can you remember 20 odd? 
time. I read 26, but yeah. that seems too many. But I don't About know. 26 locks in quick succession. Oh, it's time to go home. We, it is Saturday morning. We spent last night in Devizes. Another peaceful night. Well done. A big shout out to Wiltshire Council um, for seemingly allowing overnight stops. There were quite a few motorhomes in the car park with us. And yeah, time to go home. <laughs> well, yeah, good, good things come to an end. Yeah. <laughs> He's far more philosophical than I am. I am excited to go home and see all the family, of course. Um, but yeah, it's been such a wonderful trip. I am excited about editing, to sort of revisit all the things and places we've done. But yeah, we talked last night, didn't we, about what was your take from it and what was my take? And your take was? Be a bit braver. A bit braver. A bit braver. Just, just find the places and mm. just hunt them out it, it can take a little bit of time but yeah. th they are about aren't they That's yes the, you know even when we stayed in the south end we well, you managed the, to find park, somewhere the, yeah. yeah i think we've always nice. been worried yeah. that someone's yeah. going to knock the door and move us on and we've learned on this trip that we don't go against any signs that say no overnight camping yeah. but we've managed to find spots that we felt comfortable there and uh and my take was He's not such a bad old guy. The board of property. Shut up. We've had a great time, haven't yeah. we? Really have. Yeah. But we started of course, planning the next trip, so that's yes. All, that's always yes, a good sign. Indeed. When you finish one, you start to think about another one. Yeah. yeah. And the good thing is, it's not like we've hired this and we've got to give it back. This comes home with us. It sits on the driveway, and uh, got a few running repairs we've got to do. Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> MOT hmm. as as we go back. Uh, service. And I think I found someone to tackle the rest, but that's another story for another day. We're going to sign off here. Goodbye from Devizes. Goodbye from the two week <laughs> road trip. And see you on the videos. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>